What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from here. Welcome to be back to another episode of Danganronpa. In the last episode of Danganronpa, we discovered the second floor, and we were able to actually navigate it. And this episode, we're going to continue of another beautiful day, and Monokuma's going to tell us something else. let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. The new, the new rule about switching has been added. But for right now, we need to hurry up and head back to breakfast. Dining hall time. Dining hall time. Time to go to the dining hall. Dining hall time. Dining hall time. Going to the dining hall. D dining hall. Dining hall. Going to the dining hall to eat. Hey, Makoto. Morning, Makoto. Good morning, everyone. Is everybody here? Yo, yo, yo. No, we're still waiting on Bakiya and Taka. Bakiya is no surprise, but it's strange that Taka is not here yet. <laughs> and no one, Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the King of Tardiness up out of bed. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is, I'm thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? If he foo me, would you make me some tea? Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you'd please. Well, well why me? Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out quick. Quick, or drying out quickly, please. Oh. Oh. Okay. Apparently, unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi sulked his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later, <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Hifumi reappeared with a tray in hand, a gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. I am emphatically decline. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I am emphatically decline. You are not my type at <laughs> all. Hmm. Oh, it's all about the law of casualty. Casualty. Basic instinct. Act and react. Ugh. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind, if well then, if you, you don't mind, a small smile played across her lips. She held the teacup delicately, delicately in her hand. Wait. She cocked her head to the side. And threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? What the? Hey, what are you doing? My little white rabbit. Mm. I hate this kind of tea. Um, um I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at coffee shops. Just any normal, everyday cafe. I sat down and I ordered some tea. They would then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine... That I replied, ah, yes, I would like a milk tea, please. In this case, come along with my tea and you may bring me a small container of milk, yes? But this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup, mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu and see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went all through all the trouble to make you that tea, and it, you wanted me to go even farther... Yes, I realize that can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that pro that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than the simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... Why bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! That doesn't matter! Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, you swine! <laughs> Okay, your little piggy will bring it right out. <laughs> I love coercion. You were like a totally different person just then. Yeah, 
You really went psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her than when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But, bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? What happened? It would seem that Bayakira refuses to leave his room. I stood there, pressing his doorbell over and over and over, but he would never show himself. Maybe he just... Maybe he just wasn't there. I'd like to think so, but I will worry something might have happened to him. What? What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else for everyone to understand exactly what that might mean. Might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Ah! I was just about to suggest that. Same thing. Sharp eye, Makoto. Just stop trying to want up everyone. Okay, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm going to keep hammering and that button till I get a response. Very well. The rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um, yeah, before it's, uh, you know, too late. Anyway, we have to do our best to find Baikiro. So, where might Bayakara have gone? Maybe he went back to the second floor of the school again. Probably. Uh, Celeste and Hifumi, they can hang out. They can have fun together. Hifumi's gonna hate it, but I don't care about Hifumi's livelihood at the current moment. Uh oh. Uh oh. We can't go to the second floor. The gate's blocking access to the stairs. I wonder if this will open up at some point. Uh oh. Well, I guess technically there's, there's two different, these are two different rooms, so I don't know why I'm going. Uh oh. Anyways, we have to go up to the second floor. What... What would my, my Akira be wanting to do in the second floor, though? Like, where would my Akira be off to? That's my question. Because... Maybe... So you thought to come here too, huh? So... If you think about where Bikira was so, what if you think about what Bikira was so interested in yesterday, you can come. You can probably guess where he is right now, huh? What was Bikira interested in again? Yep, that's what I thought. When I opened the door to the library, I looked inside. I cried out in a sudden surprise. By Akira! Of all the things I'd imagined, this is most definitely wasn't hey, one of them. Uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Baker snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. You! Baikira, so this is where you've been hiding. <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. Hmm. Well, you had no reason to be. Just was reading. Never, I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some hey. point. Well, what are you reading there? A mystery novel. Yeah. Wait, so you're going to use what you're learning in this in there to betray us? Hmm. Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight... Of course they'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours would be totally boring, right? It's not often that you take a part in a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you might make sure it's entertaining, huh? His words had to chill down my spine. They were, uh, 
There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying his thought process. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you. What do you mean, game? That's so messed up. But it is a game, right? A game of life or death, which could only have one winner. And that's all there is to it. He's right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay it's a part of game theory, a, math a mathematical model. In, in game theory, what we're going through now is called a zero-sum game. This is the type of game that in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like... An elimination match. Actually, Entrance exams, sport tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category, actually. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited for you to succeed. Someone must also fail. This applies to school life when we have been subjected to here in this case. Okay? Our limited resource is the only one of us that can successfully become the blackened. So, in other words... so this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all of the others. The that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adoption is so crucial. If those who want to escape live and disappear, here would be no reason to continue playing the game. But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. His smile filled with evil intent. He twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds like we do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> You do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would have expected from Torgami heir apparent. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? You talk like that, but when you end up dead, not possible. it just won't simply be possible. You son of a bitch. Who the heck do you think you are? You know, I still can't believe it. What? Believe what? That an uneducated, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you have survived this piece long. I'm gonna kill you. Like I said, I won't die. You keep saying that, but. Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply doesn't exist. He was the ultimate affluent prodigy, after all, a boy who raised to succeed for the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges were merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it's a life or death situation. <laughs> Isn't that not so, Bakira? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. It it's because I am the same of ye as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to su suggest that we're on the same level? Close your vulgar mouth! Oh, oh well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> Anyways, let me see this to you. Let me say this to you all. You need to try harder. If your opponent isn't going to give their best, then where is the fun for me? No. Th that's a terrible way of looking what? at it. Huh. It's because... This isn't our game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is. is. Horrific. Friends? Who decided that one? We're not friends. No. In fact, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but you know. What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um, come on. Yes. If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep that mouth shut. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around. Hey, you get off bullying people like that. You can't fight back. You want to try that one on me? <laughs> so you're back to pretending you're friends, huh? And how long are you gonna think that? How long do you think that's gonna last? What? Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate that you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. That's it. You're Just dead. Hold on, hold on. Just calm Piece down. I am calm. Uh. How is this calm? Whatever. Hmm. Anyway... I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of my time. And I hate wasting my time. Waste of time. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone that could easily poison our food that way. I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper yet. Dude, shit. 
quit talking like you're in a freaking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, by Akira left. There wasn't anything that we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything like the rest of us. But... Was he serious about all of that? He was without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, screw him then. <laughs> but, but, but what he said, my, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our... <laughs> hey, come on, you two, Toko. Anyway. Well, it's n -n not like anyone would care even if I w was gone, right? Actually, I bet you all will want me gone. You all think I'm d disgusting. None of us think that. <laughs> you you. D just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people play with the, the victim. So I like. I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally insane. You think I d don't know, but I do, uh, and that I'm sure the rest of you will think the same thing. Think the same thing, don't you? Uh, hey, Togo, wait. <laughs> Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Ultimately, a breakfast meeting had come to an end, and without answering any questions, everyone headed back to their rooms. Free time! Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to take the day off. I need to get myself going. Well... We gotta first figure out what we're gonna do in free time. Actually, well, I know the first thing I'm doing in free time. It's getting our map and going to the Monokuma station here. Which is... I'm sorry, I'm like, I don't know if I'm actually being... I'm gonna make sure that I'm being seen here. When I kind of get a deeper look at the screen. Oh, I mean, I kind of am, but I'd prefer to stay back. Yeah, that's probably a better option for me. Okay. Yeah, okay, this is the room. Teleport here. And then... There's the shop. I was like, I know I passed it, the store. Okay. So what we need is we need to get some presents. Ow. That could have been bad. It wasn't. It could have been really bad, though. What would you like to try your hand against Almighty Monomino? Yes, give it a shot. Got an item. Okay, we're going to get a lot of items here. Lucky. What did the lucky do for us? Oh, I see. Okay. So we're at a point where we can deposit just one and be okay. I see. So we could get repeats, but that chance lowers the more we put in there. It's like a rigged kind of game here. That ain't a repeat, though. 6% chance of one, though. So I'm trying to figure out what presents I want to give people. Oh, that's for the fanfic creator. If I Lucky. I don't know what determines the log lucky, though. Oh, see, there's a re there's our first repeat. That ain't a repeat. 
10% chance of repeats, though. That's also scissors. That's not a repeat. 11% chance, though. So I'm assuming once it gets to, like, 20% is when I should start getting into double digits here. Or not double digits. I should start putting in multiple coins. But for right now, I don't think I need to. See, but that's a repeat item. So that's a common item, clearly. That's a not repeat. I wonder if I'm going to actually achieve getting every item. We've had that before. Oh! But because we didn't have it in our inventory, it didn't count against us. Got it. So it only counts against us if we have it in our inventory. That's why our repeat chances were zero. I'll deposit two. It will stop at 69 coins, I think. Whoa, that's a cool item. We'll still stop at 69 coins, I think. There might be a better use of our coins later on, and then we'll find out. If there is, great. If there's not, then whatever, right? It's like it's like a win-win situation for us. Okay, now let's find out where people are. Nobody's in this area. Nobody's in the gym. Of course, Hina's in the pool. <sighs> Celeste seems like a decent idea. Is nobody in... The only person in their room is Toko. <sighs> yeah, I'm choosing Chihiro. Chihiro. Where are you, Chihiro? Chihiro! What the heck, Chihiro? Girl, where the heck are you? Trying to figure out like what the strategy is during free time. Am I crazy? I thought it said Chihiro was literally here. Oh, there she is. Sai. Um, uh, Makoto, I didn't realize you were there. Should you try to spend some time? Yes. You're right. I should take a little change of scenery. Do you mind keeping me company for a while? I spent a nice relaxing time with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Chihiro a present? Yes. What can we give her? We can give her Coca-Cola. A burnt croissant. A sonic cup of noodles. Rations? No. Layering, sh layering shears. We can give her straight up a tumbleweed. The second button. A water flute. I'm going to give her the button. 
button from a school uniform, which increases the value, increases in value as graduation approaches. In few cases, in a few cases, reservations are necessary. Huh? huh? You're giving this to me. I'm sorry. You, you don't have to make a big fuss over me. Does that mean she liked it? There's still plenty of time left. I can't just sit around. I'm good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. I'm doing it right. Okay. Who are we going to talk to next? Because we, we talked to Chihiro. Huh. Yeah, no. I'm talking to Celeste. I need to get on Celeste's good side, I think. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 they moved places. I didn't think they'd move places like that. My bad. Hi, Celeste. I didn't think you'd move, so my bad. <laughs> I've grown entirely accustomed to life here. Enough time, any place, can eventually feel like home. As for me, I truly frighten myself to captivate even insignificant little creatures like yourself. Spent time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Give Celeste a present? Yes. What do we give Celeste? So last we can give the black croissant, whatever that does for anybody. Baked good, made from black ingredients. It looks burnt, but it's actually pretty good. Here, you have this. No, thank you. I'm not the type of person who cannot decline a gift, so I have no choice but to accept this. But I want to stress that this is only because it's my sense of duty. <laughs> Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> my perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Mm -hmm. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, it must you it, you must have the mind for a, the mind for strategy. This allows you to increase your odds of winning. However, it, so the exciting part about gambling is that the power of which you can overwhelm any strategy there is. Mm -hmm. The power is luck. Luck. Actually. There's only two types of luck: good and bad. There is no in between. The luck is built on every human at the moment of cool conception. Like a computer program. Okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is luck is life. Well. Do you see what I'm saying? You mean that that's your perfect strategy? Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I've never lost. So, there's all to it. You are the ultimate lucky student, yes. This does mean perhaps you can exceed even my own luck. One day, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Hmm. well, have a nice day. With another word, so luck quietly disappeared. I'd say my life has gotten been had been more bad luck than good lately for gambling. Not such a great idea for me. Celeste's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. S hey, look at you go. After parting ways with Celeste, I went back to my room. Another day, another day gone. Even though today is over, the game definitely hasn't. How long is this going to keep going? All the stress and anxiety that kept me from falling asleep until late at night. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it. I gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike into the train station. I was in. The I was in. Just yeah. Looking at myself in the mirror. Well, 
in the next episode of Dang and Rapa, we'll be continuing and furthering the quest and the adventure in the daytime. Love you all. Bye.